The fatal Amtrak train derailment in Washington state this week is renewing questions in South Florida about the safety of the Brighteline higher speed passenger train service set to launch soon. Brighteline trains are expected to go 79 mph between West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami, 110 mph to Cocoa, and up to 125 mph to Orlando. The Amtrak train derailed going 80 mph in a 30 mph zone, according to federal investigators who recovered the data recorder from the crash site over Interstate 5 near Seattle. South Florida does not have the same hilly terrain as Washington state but there are obstacles. Curves would be taken at high speed, the trains would be passing through about 200 railroad crossings and there's a railroad drawbridge in Fort Lauderdale. Brighty Line has said it would begin service between Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach before the end of the year. But so far, it is still in the testing phase and no start update has been announced. Brighty Line officials would not give specifics about how they intend to make sure the Amtrak derailment is not repeated in Florida. But they issued a statement that said each passenger train will have an engineer and a train manager in every engine and an alert system to notify them of dangerous speed levels. Brighty Line is also installing a new technology called Positive Train Control which uses satellite GPS, ground-based radio towers and sensors in railroad tracks to automatically slow or stop trains to prevent derailments and other potential crashes. The federal government is requiring it on all rail systems nationally by December 2018. But Brighty Line will not have it installed when the trains start rolling. The safety of Bright Line's guests, teammates, and stakeholders is our highest priority, the company's statement read. Broward County Commissioner and Regional Transportation Authority Board member Tim Ryan wants to hear what investigators find out about the Amtrak derailment. Whatever comes out of that, we need to incorporate into our rail operations, he said. We will do so safety is our number one concern. Officials from Indian River and Martin counties have long voiced opposition to Brighty Line trains approaching their towns at 110 mph and the Washington crash confirmed their safety fears. I am afraid of this happening on the Treasure Coast, said Indian River County Attorney Dylan Rheingold. I think it paints a real picture of our real concerns. A group that also opposes the train's high speed, Citizens Against Rail Expansion in Florida, said the trains should not roll before the new technology is installed. It would be a tragedy if the Brighty Line trains were to start running without the system in place, CARE Florida Chairman Brent Hanlon said. That would just be devastating. Brighty Line has already derailed once. In February, an engine going 4 mph left the track at a switch in the West Palm Beach rail yard according to a Federal Railway Administration report. Brighty Line is now conducting test runs between Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach at speeds of up to 79 mph. W. Crustan at sunsentinel.com or 954-356-4303 or Twitter at Wayne Rouston.